So yesterday we were lucky enough to have a leopard encounter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible experience. Today we've come back and we found where he's got a springbok. We can see the drag marks. And so we're actually gonna go in and try to uh, see if we can find him because he had uh, some kind of uh, swell swelling in his face and his eye. And so they want to see if they can tranquilize him and give him some antibiotics and treat him for the uh, whatever the infection might be. So we're just gonna go in, follow the drag marks and see if we can locate this leopard with his kill. There's some hair right here. You can see where it brushed up against. You can see this big heavy drag mark all through here. It's winding off into that way. Oh, right, right here, right here. There it is. Right through the grass. It's crouching down. Luckily for Paul, he spotted the leopard before he got into the forest where the leopard could have attacked him from behind. They called in the vet and they were able to locate the leopard in the dense bush and get a dart into him. After giving time for the drug to take effect, they tracked him on foot. What would your guess be on the age of this animal? He's uh, you know, like all these teeth are still he's fine. Dead, nothing. Dead, all dead. He's little one. He's dead. Dead. Nothing. So he's uh, I would okay six years or so. Six years? Yeah. Okay. And then that just okay. a gut feeling. Sure. What what's a what's an average lifespan of a leopard in the wild? In the wild, then twelve years. Twelve. Okay. Wow. What do you reckon that is? Yeah. What an incredible well, animal. Zoos, I live up to 20 or so, but I mean, it's yes. completely different. Yes, completely different, sure. Wow. So why are you removing that? Uh, so we, uh, yeah, we saw you had a collar on. We don't know exactly where he's, where he's come from. Um, and you can see here with the hair that's worn yeah, out, yep. that it was a little tight. Wow. And from here, where his eye is infected, so you see there's, a, there's two holes over there, so it must be from fighting. Okay. It could be that he got pushed out of wherever he was by another male. So good, nice good shot of antibiotics should, uh, yeah. should clean that up. Clean that up. So what, what did you just put into him? Give him antibiotics and then give, give him some um, vitamin B complex. It's a vitamin supplement um, just for boosting he overall health. And then I'll give him mineral vitamin supplement as well. Ah. Also just for it as a booster. It's not, it's actually good condition. So he's obviously uh, either been fed or, or fed himself quite well. Well, I think Maybe. operations like uh, Mount Echo do a good job of keeping them fed. <laughs> you see his stomach. He's, he's got a good stomach on him. Well, that springbok that he ate last night must have given him a, a good filling. Look at this tail. So much what? muscle in this tail, I can feel it. How do you think he is? Just incredible. Okay. <laughs> Look at this paw. <laughs> Check these out. Retractable. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Just a weapon, eh? Yeah. And just tucks right back in there like you wouldn't even know it's there and then just. Wow, 
what an experience. As you can see, he's starting to come, come to wake and uh, pretty soon he'll be back out roaming these African hills. Just awesome. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.